Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. What a great day to start our journey this week. We are moving from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to tell you that it's not going to be easy. But if you persist and insist. Amen. Amen. The chosen Omulonde. persist and insist. Amen. Amen. The chosen is separated from the crowd. Amen. Amen. Can read the signs and, may, and understand. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 18 and the Lord, verse 16. Then the men set out from there and they looked down towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them to set them on their way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I'm about to do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Amen. So God is about to do something in, a, in one in Sodom. But I have to reveal it to the chosen. Verse 19 says, For I have chosen him uh -huh. that he may command his children and his household after him. Someone says his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice so that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has promised him. So he's thinking about something very important. He says Abraham has an assignment to do what? to command his children because the children of the chosen are also chosen. Praise the Lord. Someone say, you are chosen. Say, you are chosen. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 4 it says, so you come to him a living stone rejected by men but in the sight of God chosen and precious. Someone said chosen and precious. You yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Can you balance these microphones, please? Behold, I'm laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious. And whoever believes, don't increase this, please, just balance, okay? Whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for my God. The honor is for you who believe. But for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected 
has become a cornerstone. Na yeri ya batakiriza, ejinja bazimbiri ya bagana, elio lirifuka umutwe guoku nsonda. And a stone of stumbling, a rock of offense, they stumble because they disobey the word and they were destined to do. Ere jinje liye sitalu wako, ero uluwa zoru sula, kubanga be sitala kuchigambo, na teba gonda, era kwe, teba teke ruawo, amen. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Na ye mwemuli guanga donde, wakabona wakabaka, chikachu tukuvu, bantu bambuma, muli okemu buli renge birunji bioe ya baito, kupa mchizikiza, okuingi na mchitangala, mkutangala kukwe chitalo. You are a chosen race. Agamba nti muli guanga donde. A royal priesthood. Bakabona. A holy nation. Echika, echitukuvu. A people for his possession that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So it goes deeper to tell us that as the chosen, there is an assignment to proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness. Someone said proclaiming the excellences of him who called you out of darkness. So what does it inquire, what does it involve to proclaim the excellences of him who called you out of darkness? Means living a life that is separate. Someone says separated. Someone says separated. For the life of excellency. So excellency from the Lord. Will come out of contention. Amen. 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 <coughs> to, to excel. To proclaim the excellences of him who called you. It will require knowing that you cannot go with the crowd. I wish you had what I said. For you to understand that in your walk with God, there is a time when you walk alone. That's the time when you say, you know, when, you, when the Lord starts to, to separate you to contend, He makes, He begins to take you to places to inconvenience you that he may bring the best out of you. Amen. Amen. When it's not convenient, it's time to stand because it's the moment to be anointed. You didn't hear what I said. When it's inconvenient. It's a sign you are about to be anointed. Amen. Amen. There are five signs the chosen can, can read and know it's time for manifestation. Sign number one when the Lord leads you to inconveniences. Amen. Amen. It's as if your, your comfort, your good things have been removed from you. That time for Joseph to manifest came. 
He had to be inconvenienced. I wish I'm talking to somebody. He had to leave the house where he was loved so much. He was the favored of the house. The beloved of his father. With a coat of many colors. I might talk to somebody. A coat of many colors. The favored in the house. Mother, the mother was the beloved wife. Mama he was the favored son. He was the son with dreams. He was the son that does not go to look after sheep with others. Life looked so good until the time for he, the chosen to appear came. He had to leave home in the ways he did not expect. When he was leaving home, he didn't pack his bags. Amen. <laughs> he didn't pack his bags. He didn't pack his money. He didn't pack his coats because he thought he was going for an even an errand and return. I wish I'm talking to somebody. He thought he was going to do one errand and return that evening. He thought he was returning that evening to have a good chat with the father. He didn't see his father until the next 20 years. I wish I'm talking to somebody. Are you hearing me? He left, he thought, I'm coming back to have our evening talk with daddy. He never saw his daddy until 20 years after. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Someone of the chosen. Someone of the chosen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The same happened to his father. His father had something at home. He was doing, enjoying house. Beloved by the mother. His father was the son of the tent. Amen. The son of the tent. He was always living in the tent. When Esau could go hunting, Jacob could remain home. Until one day as he's enjoying mommy's dinner, <laughs> mommy, mommy sends him into inconveniences and tells him, go and, go and take this to your father. There is a risk you may be cast. But you are the chosen. Amen. Amen. And then what happens? Events, events, and he had to leave home. Someone had to leave home. And he went to places. Maybe he thought that next week he would return and see mommy. He didn't see his mom again. He didn't see his mom again. Hallelujah. Amen. All he, he didn't see his mom again. We don't see in scripture where Jacob meets the mother again. Because he was the chosen. Praise the Lord. He who was separated from his people will become great. Hallelujah. Amen. He who has been separated from his people. So, there's a season in your life when you know it's my manifestation. Sign number one. God begin to inconvenience you. Amen. God begin to inconvenience you. He asks you to do things that are not convenient. Like coming to church at 5 a.m. in the morning. The cold remain in their beds. They can watch online, they can watch on TV. The chosen must walk in the church. The chosen must walk the inconvenient life. <laughs> I wish you heard what I'm saying. The cold can, in their comfort, they will switch on and watch. The chosen walk, it walk into the place of being anointed. I have not seen a man anointed where it's convenient. 
I have not seen any man who receives an anointing in their bedroom, in their comfort place. God moves them from a place of comfort and takes them in a place of inconvenience. In fact, whoever makes it so comfortable for you is the enemy of the anointing. <laughs> when someone gives a good hotel room, a, a good Good bed, good food is the enemy of the chosen. The chosen must be separated. Inconvenience. And look and say, but by the way, look at where I'm sleeping. Look at what I'm eating. And that's when the anointing, because the chosen must be anointed. Because the chosen has an assignment to dismantle structures of darkness. And if you are going to dismantle structures of darkness, you must have in so much inconvenience that you may be sensitive to the prompting of the Lord. what I say. It's the inconvenience that makes you sensitive. Oh my God. Because you need God every second of your life. You can't miss one second. Because it's so inconvenient. You are looking for the day you are out of it. I wish I'm talking to somebody. I wish I'm talking to somebody. Are you hearing me, church? Are you getting me? So, because of the inconvenience, you are alert. Because of the inconvenience, you can't sleep six hours. Because even the bed is not comfortable. Because even... <laughs> I wish I'm talking to somebody. So you are alert because it's inconvenient. You can't sleep 10 hours because even the food in your stomach is not comfortable. You don't know the next meal. So you are the chosen. Praise the Lord. Maybe you're saying, but God, why is everyone so, things are okay for everyone? Because you are the chosen. And then you need to contend that the enemy may not take you from where you are. It's inconvenient. Because the enemy is coming with, with offers. Say, there is a better way. There is a better way. Remember one day Joseph was settling. It was becoming convenient in Potiphar's house. Ah, I might have somebody. It was becoming convenient in Potiphar's house. The issue is not Potiphar's wife. The issue, the house was becoming too comfortable for Joseph. For <laughs> I wish I'm talking to somebody. It has nothing to do with Potiphar's wife. It was Joseph who was becoming comfortable in Potiphar's house. And is not supposed to settle there. So he, the rams are stirred up. And one of the reactions is someone getting attracted to you so that you are falsely accused to be inconvenienced again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Listen. You may find Potiphar's wife in heaven. She was just doing the will of God. She was doing the purposes of God. For Joseph to not to be comfortable. When he's taken in prison. Because he's chosen. From the pit to the prison. Because he's chosen. Someone's a chosen. Someone's a chosen. One of the things you're going to 
fight is comfort. Contend against comfort until you are anointed. Because the enemy of the chosen sometimes he may want to make you so comfortable that you don't want to leave. I wish I'm talking to somebody. Are you getting me? I said there are five signs. Sign number one, in unexpected inconveniences. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Sign number two. Let me bring it this way. Dreams that are different from your situation. I don't know what name I can give them. Amen. Amen. What I mean, Chentegeza. you don't have even what to eat. But your dreams, you are feeding nations. <laughs> your situation and your dreams are contrary. They don't, they, they, you, know, you look at you don't have money in your pocket. But in your dreams, you're buying nations. Hello? Amen. 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 I'm not told somebody. Your dreams are far from reality. You look at yourself, you're a nobody. But kings and presidents are always in your dreams. And you wonder how a little you can interact with such authority when you seem powerless. I might talk to somebody. In fact, when you tell people your dreams, they seem to think that you are you are something is wrong maybe you have developed a mental illness maybe you become psychotic because what you're you saying is not real I wish I'm talking to somebody what you're saying is not real there's no way it can match you it can't, it can't be you. you it can't be the little you that we, that you have dreams that you have the key to the destiny of a nation. And they say it can't be you. Are you getting me? I'm not on somebody. And when you say I have, I have the key, I have the code, I have the ability, I, I have, and people say no, it can't be you. What you are and what you are dreaming are two different. And actually, those are the dreams that disturb most of the chosen. Oh my God. The dreams that disturb the chosen. They are not nightmares. But they are disturbing dreams. Mm, am I talking to somebody? They are not nightmares. They are not scary dreams. They are disturbing dreams. Because the dream and the person are completely different. I wish I'm talking to somebody. And you're wondering, what is this king doing in my dream? What are these great men doing in my dream? What are these thick scrolls doing in my dream? Dreams. When those dreams are frequent, it means the anointing is about to happen on the chosen. The anointing, because it's the anointing now that will now cause you to manifest as the chosen. But you must first be inconvenient. Remember Jesus? The Holy Spirit, the Spirit came upon him. What happened to him? He went into the desert to be inconvenienced. Some was inconvenienced. 
And after 40 days, what did he say? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. So it was in the desert he was anointed. Am I talking to somebody? Are you getting me? Amen. Amen. And when he, he began to share his life, one day he said that this scripture has come to pass in your midst. And they wanted to stone him. Amen. Because his dream and his reality were not matching. We're not matching. How can you say that you know you have had a dream of you anointing a king when you can't, you can't even have enough food for yourself? It doesn't. And oftentimes that's the moment when people throw away the chosen. Because they say the dreams are so strange. I think he needs some treatment. I think he needs a doctor. I think he need, we need to keep, because they can't contain you as the chosen. Sign number three. Hallelujah. Amen. Five, sign number three. Frequent spiritual attacks. Oh. For the purpose of occupying you. You know, one of the signs that the anointing is about to happen in your life. The enemy intensifies attacks. You lose money, you go into accidents, people get sick around you, you lose your job. And, and as if in the same time, all these things happen. Because the enemy is raging because he knows the time. I always tell people, when you see many problems. It's because the enemy knows it's time. You hear what I'm talking about? When you see that everything in your life is under attack. Because the enemy, the devil knows it's time. He's in fear. He's in anxiety. He's in panic. Because what he feared for generations is about to happen. The appearance of the chosen. Oh God, I wish I'm talking to somebody. What he dreaded for generations, he just know it, he cannot stop it. And he knows so that what you see as attacks on your life, it's panic of the evil one. He's panic. He's trying to break this and break this and break this and break this because he knows that which he feared, that which he has been waiting for is about to happen. He knows it's time and he knows he cannot stop it. So he bring, now he wants you to panic to interfere with the delivery. Tell me, but do not panic. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Lord will lift the standard. Amen. Amen. When the flood, the flood break things. Floods move things. Can I tell you something? Forget about the, the, the floods in poems. There are real floods and what? winds and storms and hurricanes that can happen in the physical because of the chosen. You have another I say. There are storms. Not these storms, what you call storms on life, but real winds, storms, hurricanes, typhoons, disasters, earthquakes in the physical, not even in the spiritual, but in the physical, whole cities shaken, fires, winds, storms, 
because they know the enemy can use the elements to try to do whatever he wants to do because that chosen he may think maybe you will die in the storm he may think he may think he can bring the earthquake maybe the house will fall on you he may think he can swipe out the whole city thinking that the chosen will die in the city unfortunately you left last night before the hurricane came unfortunately you left the city before the fire happened unfortunately you left last night before the wind came in the city I wish I'm talking to somebody. I know there are people. The night you left, that's the night the storm came. The whole city was broken down, but the chosen had left. The whole city was attacked, thinking that you would die in the city. Unfortunately, in the night, the Lord has said, leave. The Lord has said, don't go. Don't go in that boat. Don't go in that boat. And they left. The enemy thinking, knowing that the chosen is on sea, only to realize the chosen did not board. A whole plane can crash thinking the chosen is in a plane forgetting that you missed the flight you missed the flight <laughs> but they cause every even the storm praise the lord praise the lord amen recently i was flying back and we had a storm i have never seen a flight from from dubai to entebbe that's all, all. Over Dubai, back in and I, I could see people troubled and I, and I was on the plane and another man of God in this nation I had met him when we were going in so we were uh, we, so as I was sitting there I, could see, I was seeing people troubled and I said in my heart it is impossible for me and that man the two of us the anointed men yeah, uh, to be on the flight and it crashes. I said it's impossible. I said to the lady give me some coffee. Give me more coffee. He said sir you not trust. I'm not troubled at all. Because I was saying imagine James and this man I cannot mention his name. The most anointed in the nation cannot die in a crash. In a crash. I said, it can, actually, I was saying, that is imp it's impossible. It cannot happen. It's impossible. The chosen are on this flight. They can, the chosen are on this flight. The storms can come, but we will arrive safely. I said, these problems may come, but they cannot stop the chosen. Amen. So when the turbulences were there, I said, no. If I was alone, I would have feared. But I have another anointed man on the flight. So if that man and me are on the same flight, even dying on this flight will be an honor for me. Are you kidding me? I said, devil, even dying here to meet enough to die with the anointed that's okay it will be great for me that if the anointed dies on this flight it means the angel of God is here so I said give me more coffee give me more coffee please and she thought what kind of man is this I said in my heart it's impossible to die in the midst of a revival. It's impossible. It, the storm cannot. And even I was not, I didn't even get the prompting to stop the storm. No, I didn't even get the prompting to pray about the storm. I was enjoying a massage. Because, you know, when Papa, Papa, it's like, this is nice. Listen. I'm here to tell you this morning. I'm here to tell you this morning. Listen. If you did not die in the womb, you cannot die before you fulfill your purpose. 
If you did not die when you are so weak even to pray, you cannot die now. But there's those are signs that the anointing is about to happen to you. I wish I'm talking to somebody. There's, when you see everything running mad, bizarre, just know. Tell you. Pastor, your neighbor, it's the time. It is time. When you see things dying, losing the job, marriage stopped, don't say, God, I'm under a curse. It's, it's not a curse. It's the time. It's not a curse. It's the time for the chosen to be anointed. It's the time. Amen. Someone says the time. Say it's time. Say it's time. Say it's time. Amen. 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 Sign number four that it's time. The intensity of angelic visitations. Katana <laughs> The increase of the those the hosts of heaven in your life. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you hear what I said? The intensity, the increase of angelic work in your life. You know the works, when works of the angels increase in your life, the angelic activities around you. Oh God, I wish I'm talking to somebody. Oh, what a, what a morning. What a morning. Praise the Lord. You know the times I'm looking the fellowship with angels. You know, when ja Jacob left home, the journey began. And the key things in his life was interaction with the supernatural. You just missed what I said. Interaction with the supernatural. Oh my God. Interaction with the unseen. The unseen becomes normal. The unseen, the, the, the supernatural becomes normal. It's like their bread. You know, when you, Jacob, the, Bible, the time Jacob is walking and he sees the angels, he did not even stop. He just said, that's the camp of angels. I'll see you when I return. In, in other words, he's used to them. He's used to the angels that even he can wrestle with them. He's used to meeting them. And that's one of the character of the chosen. From childhood, you, are, you, are, you have this attraction of the angelic. The supernatural is attracted to you. Including the demonic. But the time of the anointing. The demonic does not appear. Because the cherubims guard the chosen. That nothing interferes with the encounters. No, they are attacks. But they are just on the outside. Are you getting me? In the inside, there are encounters with the angelic. But on the outside, things are, uh, are things are dying. But in the inside, the, angel, the angels are increasing. Praise the Lord. And the last sign is very important. Amen. Amen. Prophetic communion. What I mean, prophetic communion. The, they, those that tie you up prophetically begin to come in your life without your plan. Amen. Amen. And you say, 
I never knew this person since Adam. How comes comes in my life now? How have I found myself in Lugala? How are, why, why on earth am I here? Are you getting me? Look at yourself. From Kenya, from Namibia, Namibia from United States, United from States, where Obama. you all find yourself here and you all speak the same language. <laughs> and like, wait a minute. I'm from the UK. I'm from United States. I'm from Namibia. I'm from Rwanda. From Uganda. I'm, but I'm finding myself with someone who I have known before the creation of the earth. I wish I'm told somebody. You know, there's people now in your life. You've known them for one month. But you know each other more than the people you were born with in your father's house. The bond in the spirit. We call it prophetic communion. Oh, Makata. Say prophetic communion. So in the prophetic communion, the communion of the prophetic, that's when, that's a sign that you are being, you are about to be anointed. Because you are never anointed. When you, when you are an ego with, with, with ducks, you have to separate, be separate. Oh my God. You are separate from the ducks and go where the egos are and be anointed amidst the egos. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Do not leave this fellowship until you are anointed. Am I talking to somebody? Do not leave the fellowship until you are anointed. Because 2024 is for the chosen. Amen. Amen. Someone say, I am chosen. Say, I'm chosen. Now, now this is going to be a bit challenging. Because you are used to staying with some people. And now you are being separated to some people who prophetically charge you every day. And you, even you lost the count of dates. You don't know if it's a Monday or a Wednesday. Oh, it's 10 or oh, it's 12. Because that's not the, what matters. You are no longer on the calendar of the world. You are on the prophetic calendar. You are, you are guided and led by the prophetic encounters. Praise the Lord. Now, because of those signs, that's why you need to contend. Someone say contend. Someone say contend. Someone say contend. Now, as you contend, that's why we go back now. There is something I'm going to reveal to you this morning. In our, our, our chat. Praise the Lord. We give you glory and honor, Jesus, for the chosen. For the chosen. Praise the Lord. Now, when you look at the chart, you will see the foundation. And the foundation, the word we use there is defiled. What is the opposite of defiling? There is one side, if the enemy defiles, and what does, what happens when God intervenes? Sanctifies. 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 
sanctified. Alongosa. Say sanctified. Some of the sanctified ones. Gamba abalongosi. Ah, someone has not heard what I said. Someone said, this, my sanctified ones. I'm not hearing you. Someone says, sanctified. Sanctified. Sanctified ones. The sanctified. Some sanctified ones. You know, the chosen. When we go in the foundation, they will come forth as the sanctified. Why? When I say the sanctified, oh my God, you have cut off. I don't know why you've done this. Because this chart, this chart, this chart is cut off. We have half year and half year. You have overexpanded it. Someone on the screen, can you please help us? You need, you need, you need grace, eh? because we don't see someone decide on someone this over enlarged. Now, sa the sanctified. Abalongosi. Why are they the sanctified? Because they're gonna become his sanctuary. His dwelling place. As the foundation. Karaboshika. Oh, amen. The sanctified one. The one he has sanctified. That's the foundation. Of the church. Hello? Amen. The sanctified. It's the foundation. Of the church. And I'm going to say something. Last night, we were having a conversation with my wife about some things in the spirit. And a statement came out. At first, it was like a simple statement, but then it disturbed me through the night. The Church of Christ. That was the, here was the statement. What you call the church is not what Christ calls the church. And he was telling me, I was telling him, I said, look, all the things you see you are seeing denominations, you are seeing religions, you are seeing centers, you are seeing people's things. But my church, what I call my church, is not what you see. The church of Christ is not what many of you call it. What you call church is not what he calls it. What you cause church to him is not. You know, he was, he was telling me, look, those are people's enterprises. Men's businesses. That's why they, when they die, they pass them to their sons. It's their own. How many of you, those leaders, how many of you leaders, if I told you to leave, you will leave. You cannot leave because it's not my church. It's yours. It's your club. It's your center. It's your enterprise. It's your business. It's not me. They said to me, my church has no name because I didn't give it a name. My church has the constitution as the Bible only. No culture. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I was like, God, what do you, Jesus, what is it? He said, what you call my church is not my church. My church is the remnants. No name, no title. The church of Christ. And what do we call church? When he comes, it will be thrown away. 
All these denominations. All the things we build, like we call churches. He will say, I don't know you. That was not my church. That was James's enterprise. That was John's business. That was for his children. But my church are the sanctified ones. Not the organization. Not the religion. Not the denomination. But the sanctified ones. And they say to me, there are many my church is everywhere. But they are not in organized religion. Hello? Amen. I'm disturbing you. It disturbed me so. Because we're having a discussion with my wife and we say, oh, the church of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ. No, that's not my church. We're talking about things going on in different places, in different... And, and say, oh, Lord, the ch your church, is said, stop it. That's not my church. That's not my church. I said, it has never been my church. I said, what? I said, yes, that's not my church. It has never been. Say what? So we I began saying, I don't honey and look. That's what the Lord is saying. Are you part of my church? Or you are part of something which I'm not is not my church. And through like oh, I was engaging and engaging. And, and then finally said. My church is the sanctified ones. What's going on? My sanctified ones. Praise the Lord. Not the people that are fighting positions, recognitions, names, wealth, blessings, what? but the sanctified ones. And you check, check yourself. Check, let me check myself now. Why am I here? For my problems. Not so. For money. Not so. For marriage. Not so. Are you getting me? Umfuna. But where are the sanctified ones? The church of Christ. The ecclesia. The government, government of Christ. On earth. Hello? Okay, will you choose this morning to start the journey of being the sanctified ones. You're going to live, you know, you're not going to be an ordinary, normal human being, a normal Christian. You've got to be one of those they call crazy. They call, we don't understand you. We call it, you are so separate because you understand the church cannot be like the world. The church of Christ, the sanctified ones. Hello? The sanctified ones. And they're going to label you. They're going to label you. Call you names. Call you crazy. Call you mad. Even they will persecute you. Even they will kill some of you. Because they killed him. They persecuted him. They killed the apostles. Hello? Hello? Are you here? Some of the sanctified ones. And even amidst all the things, it will be known in the spirit that you are a witness. Amen. The church of Christ are the living matters. Not the dead matters. The living matters. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. That because of their sacrifice, the testimony of Jesus Christ continues. Regardless of what they've gone through. You know there are some of you in your suffering, in your sanctification, many will be saved and many will be redeemed because of your testimony. Hello? Amen. Listen this morning. Don't play church. Be the church of Christ. In your generation. Be sanctified. Don't play, don't play religion. Don't play, don't play the things we've been telling you. Come to Jesus and get bread. Come to Jesus and get excited. Come to Jesus and get a husband. Be the sanctified. And I'm telling you, you're going to be few. I'm telling you now, you're gonna not be, people are going to run away from you. Be ye separate. Be ye separate. Come out of them. Come out of them. And I will accept you. Katabroko. Be separate. You are the chosen. You can't walk like not those that are not chosen. I wish I'm talking to somebody. My other bullshit. I said, be ye separate. Come out of them. Touch not the defiled things. From today, know yourself as a sanctified. Chosen of the Lord. You can't defile yourself. You can't allow defilement in your body. You can't allow defilement in your life. Because you are the sanctified. Wish I'm talking to somebody. Say amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Some of the sanctified ones. The chosen one. Abalondi. Sanctified. Same one is sanctified. Sedwa. Chosen. Say God has sanctified me. Gamba katonda. Sedza. Say sanctified. Sedwa. By the truth. In the name of Jesus. Say sanctified by the truth. Sanctified by the truth. Now open your Bibles with me. And we shall end on this and then pray. Amen. 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 Someone say come out of them. Say come out of them. Say come out of them. Someone say, come out. Gamba vamo. Can I hear you say, come out? Say, come out. Vayo. Say, come out. Vayo. In the name of Jesus. Yesu. Let's open our Bible, the book of Ephesians. Are you there? Chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. It talks about, but now, chapter 2, verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Some blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the love commandment expressed in the ordinances. In other words, we, has, we have been reconciled to God. What does that mean? It means we need to live according to how he has set us apart. Amen. So in Ephesians chapter 5, it goes on to say, Awake or sleeper. Awake or sleeper. Ephesians 5.14 For anything that becomes visible is light. Awake or sleeper and arise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. Someone said Christ will shine on you. Christ will shine on you. Come, I say, wake or sleeper. Wake from what? from sleep. Arise from the dead. 
And Christ will shine on you. Why? You are the sanctified. I wish I can speak to someone right now. This morning, you are the sanctified. You are the chosen one to be his sanctuary, to be his dwelling place, to be the one who hosts his glory. Oh God, did you hear what I'm saying? Someone says sanctified. 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 Be separate from them. Be separate from them. Now look look at this scripture. Uh, the leave the second Corinthians chapter six. Ava Corinthians so echo kubiri mukaga. A six sixteen. Mukaga kumi na mukaga. What agreement has the temple of God with idols? Era yekalu yaka tunda yegate tiani ebifan. For we are the temple. Of the living God. Now, if you go back to <coughs> our script, our chat, we'll have a, another chat later, but let me show you something. I wish they can have it. Now, when you look at the chat, our deliverance stages, you will find that what will what the plan of God is this you as this is dismantled this is the holy of holies this the holy of holies so when all this is broken down, now the, we have the outer courts. We have the holy place. And we have the holy of holies. In other words, listen to what I'm going to say. The purpose of God is to build a living temple. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Then? Men and women of God, have you heard? In the days of Solomon, it was a temple of stone. But now, in the end times, he's building a living temple. He's building a temple which is living. And here is the Holy of Holies where his glory will dwell. And that will be the foundation of nations where the, the, the living temple will become the center of the world attention because now the abiding glory will be in a living temple. The abiding katabrosha the abiding glory the glory that remains because God has found a place has found a man through him he builds a living temple a temple of life not a building not bricks and mortar not steel but flesh, spirit, soul. And it says, I am building a living temple. The end time temple will be a living temple. Will not be the temple built by hands of stone, but a temple built by the Lord and Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. His dwelling place. Katabro Shatadia. Make me a sanctuary, Lord. Chosen to be his dwelling place. Set apart for his glory. Can you really, really raise your hands to Jesus now? Are you ready for him? Now, he's going to 
pull down the structures of all these structures and build his temple and build the living temple and build a sanctuary where you are with you are the living temple and the call is this be separate have no argument with idols. He says, I'll make my dwelling among them and walk among them. I'll be their God and they shall be my people. Therefore, go out from, from their midst and be separate from them, says the Lord. And touch no unclean thing. Then I will welcome you and I'll be a father to you and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. I'll be a father to you. He says, be separate. Be separate. Be separate. Because you, my plan is the living temple. A temple that's living. Can I hear someone say amen? Can you lift your hand and say, Lord, here I am. As a chosen one, I cleanse myself from every defilement of body and spirit because I know the plan of God. Come and lift your voice and pray. It's a time to say, Lord, the church of Christ is the living temple of God. The living temple. The living temple. The life of God. The life of Christ. I don't hear you pray. Brikata de Koshika Tade Karababadeka Siara Mama de Karab lift your voice and pray my Satade Riketa Roshikata de Kara Rikarado Shikata de Ka Masili Karado Shikada Roshia Rata de Katara Rikele Badeko Sataya I renounce defilement. I renounce that which is not of you. I renounce that which is not of you. I renounce the abominations. I renounce the idols. Lord, any agreement where I've agreed with the idols, I renounce today. I renounce today. I renounce today. I renounce today. Masika tadosha dade katade rikala bosha de kelea majala bako teleka leti kele karabakora lo shala de kade broseria mateleka da brosedekea la dosha tade katadoshi katare rikele mama de kelea do shala dea here I am, Lord, have your way. May I am, Lord, have your way. Siara do shikata de kata. That I be the living temple, the church of Christ. Sata de kata da. The chosen ones, the sanctified ones. Zada de kata de kara. Rika de bo shiata do shadea. I don't hear you pray. Kata do shiata de lea. Rika ta do siata de kata. Siyalo shandele kala do. Rika ta de kazi. I don't hear you chat pray. Ziara do the sanctified by the truth. Siata do tadita teda latado. I desire to be your dwelling place. Ade katada, ade katada. Your sanctuary latera. The sanctified ones. Lord, you say I have sent my sanctified ones. I have sent my mighty ones. The chosen ones. Sata. The chosen. The chosen. The chosen. The sanctified latera. Ta. Sanctified at birth. Sanctified katoda zia. Rikalo sadia tere de rikele de kadado sadia dara rikata bro sete de 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 rinde rikata da 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 de ya rikata de kasi 
ya tada asia de di kalosi ya rada 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 rikele mane ya de satado shikaraba i don't hear you pray kazela rikada baba gade katabro zea sia dade katabro zekete satabroko satabro de ya dade my god and my father le kade de i was born for such a time i was born for such an assignment to be the living temple to be the living temple where you dwell a god to host your glory in my time le da pro de de ta sikado sadiketa doya le dike la do shi da de ka le kala do shi di di ke da kala la de ka ta pro ze de di ke de de ata rada da de ata nothing i withhold from you lord nothing i withhold from you lord have your way and have it now have your way and have it the way you want king of glory have me and have all king of glory le de ka da pro de 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 ya la do je de ka da do ka da la de le de 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 consuming fire rada ka de pro de 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 paging fire ma kota de ya ka da ka de le de le tanara sala do ro de ya da ta de ya I don't hear you praise that oh shita the sanctified one sadea lidia da lucia da bla de kada likado shita de dikata do sadea libra de atabo satade makata do siata de la do shatade makata da de prata your glory is my obsession lord your presence is my day of bread oh god you Your word is the air I breathe king of glory you are my day bread you are the air I breathe lord you are my day bread king of glory you are the food I eat king of glory sata prosea litike ta de bata do shata de come on praise za de la ha de come on re rata release a sound that the angels will hear release a sound from the dream realm from the worship realm Rade a day a day a day Rada going to the rain sate travel the rain sate katado shikatada la katate katata tata ya la do shikatada rikete ketado katate ya rada prokota de kate katate kada lo shade ya I don't hear you rade siya de ata Lucia le de sanctified one Salete di ados Li ados ala da de 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 Siere da dos e ala de ya Sada da de ya de ya Bricoro sa de pradea Sada da de ya Marado sha ta de ya da de ya The sanctified one Lota de ya de ya to be the twin temple the dwelling place the nation you can to be his dwelling place rata pro shataya somebody pray i don't hear you i don't hear you sade si arata te katabros si ala baba te katalos si kata de ketelios shatade Makatado shatadele ka Shat pray rikaros Masili kere bobos Si alado shalade Sadi katabro sherede ya Si arada dade koshikata Satabro ko setere kere babada Marado shatade kele bobos Si kata do shala baba de Si ara de kata pro shetere Si kata de kata pro serere Ri kata de kata do shatade Salebo sharere I don't hear you pray I don't hear you pray Sanctify from the foundation Yandi Katarius Sanctify Rada Prada de Kara Siada do Shikatade Siata de Kashikatade Brigade de Kadabosada Rikarado Shade Kaya 
Come on, go deeper in the longing, in the desire, in the prayer. Say, Lord God, Come let your fire brosa. If you the Lord Tabosa, my God, if you do not build the builders build in vain, you are the builder, Lord, as you want me to be. Lita do shada. Zike likato basatea. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Sikata bros. Mandi likata bros. Salade ata. The elders pray with you. The cloud of witnesses. The cloud of witnesses. That have been saying. We are waiting. For the church of the firstborn registered in heaven. That's the church of Christ. The firstborn. Sadita Deta. Somebody pray. The firstborn registered in heaven. The firstborn registered in heaven. Matili Kosata. Aladoshi Kalade. Ladoshi Dadade. Come on, keep praying, keep praying. Saturday, Koshikata, the sanctified ones, the holy ones, the chosen ones, the chosen ones, the chosen ones, the chosen ones, the chosen, chosen, sanctified to be the living temple, the dwelling place of the Most High, the dwelling place. Of the most high, the dwelling place of the most high. Shata de 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 de. Hateha Saladosh de de de. Yeliada de de de. Gadosh de de ya. Masala de 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 de. Yada da 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 de yada de 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 de. Yada da de 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 yada da. Si yada do 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 do. Si yada da 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 de yada da de 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 yada da 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 de. See ya da do sha da da di ya da da di ya di 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 ya da 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 di 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 ya. I don't hear you praying. I don't hear you praying. Si kata do si kada di di. Si ya da do sha da di 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 ya da da do si ya. Si kata di di kata do sha da di ya da 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 di ya di 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 di. Si ya da do ra di kata broku si di di kada do 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 si ya da di 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 ya da da da. Zara do kata bruko sekete de kete de karadu shika da de kata de karadu ziara da da kata de kasi ala de de kata de kasi kata de karadu ziara da re kata de kasi ala de kate de kasi ala de kadu sadeya zala da kata de kate de 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 ya tara da da de 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 ya da 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 zala de kata de kasi kata de kata de kiri de 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 ya tara da da. Salado ko shikata di kadara kadiri di kiteri karado si arada dia. Sata di kata di kuradi bo shikada de bazi kada di kata di karadia. Zande le kata di kuradi kada rado si arada de 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 dia. Salado ko shikata di kari de de dia darado ko shikata daria. Masala daria darada de 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 Zara dara di kata di koshi kata di kara di 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 ata. Sara di koshi kata di kura di kata di 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 si anda dara di kata dada dia. Sara do rata dada dada dada. Here I am, Lord, di 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 di. Sanctify di kasi kata dia. Si gada kata bruce si kata di kara dia. Sara di kata di koshi ala do si ala dada di kata dia. Rakata di kara bama si anda di busa dada. Oh si Zia da 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 da
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. As we conclude this morning, just know, begin going deeper in the sanctified life in the sanctification journey. Am I talking to somebody? Listen. A church of Christ must be the living temple. It's not for, this message is not for everyone. This call is not for everyone. It's for the chosen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's for the chosen. Amen. Amen. They that will be the dwelling place of the Lord. Last night I felt really challenged concerning the church of Christ. Christ. Not what we call church, but what he calls church. Friends, they're totally different. Very, what he calls his church and what we call church they are like black and white completely different Com listen completely different amen what he calls his church completely different what we see what we call church, when he comes, none will qualify. None, none of the, our denomination, none of our religion, none of what we call church will, will qualify. I came to know what he calls church is different from what we call church. The church of Christ. It has no name. It's a, it's a living temple. Living temple. Living temple. Living temple. Can you just lift those hands and say, Lord, I am the one? Lift your hands. I'm the one. Let me be the church. The living church of Christ. The living church of Christ. The sanctified. The sanctified. There's, I see the heaven open. I'm not just saying a word. I see an experience in the heavens. I see I hear him exalted in the church of Christ in our generation. Now I know. Now I know. Now I know why the consecration. Now I know why the consecration is for building the living temple. A people chosen to host his glory. Set apart for him alone. They are the people God has chosen. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Give the Lord praise in the house.
Amen. Amen. You can continue with your personal altar. Those that are going for work. I bless you in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. The presence of the Lord go with you. The favor of the Lord be upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you prosper. And may you see the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have your offering, can give it. If you are giving it online, this will be the best day to give. Because it's our first day of this journey. So may God bless you as you give. Those that are here, you can put your offering in the basket. Those that are online, you can give online. I believe today is the best day to give our offerings. Our, our, our seed, <coughs> whatever the Lord calls us to give. Father, bless the hand that are giving. Anoint them. Bless them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen.